Welcome to The Call of Cthulhu, a modern campaign set in a fictional town called Red Hall. This is going to be a continuing campaign with various cases that you guys are going to be solving. Of note, um, this, is a, uh, this deals with serious subject matter, uh, so if the concept of suicide is not something you want to listen to for fun in your spare time, I advise finding something else to watch, because that's going to be the entire uh, content of the first chapter of this story. But come back later, because we do other stupid shit. Exactly, we do lots of stupid <laughs> shit. Um, I'm just going to have you guys just do a quick one-sentence introduction of your characters. And, uh, starting with, uh, Julie. <laughs> The pressure. Uh, okay, we'll start with we'll start with Eric. Who am then, I? Because, yeah. I am, yep. Eric, give me yeah. a. Uh, <laughs> my name is uh, Richard Tricky Hardwood. I'm a uh, graduate of the local naval academy who uh, went back to my family profession of uh, stripping, <laughs> and I also uh, I run the Midnight Watchman. It's a local community group. Um, we take care of some of the strange things that happen around town, or. We used to, until all the other members quit after one really dark evening that I stayed home because I had a bit of a cold. All that, all that Navy the training? Watchman. That Navy training? Good body for stripping. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, Caitlin, who are you? Sexy Countess. Uh, I am... What did I make my <clears throat> name as? It's only on the screen. <laughs> uh, I am Aaliyah Ellenberger, and I am the park ranger of one of the uh, national parks. Just outside of, um, <laughs> just, town. Just, out, just outside of the town, up in the mountains. Uh, and I am currently um, off of my, what would you call it? Rotation. Rotation, yeah. 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 I like to drink at the bar. Who are you? Um, Jess Lee, psychiatrist, widow. Dang. Mike? Jake Smarty, forensic scientist, born in Gotham. All right, we're going to start. This Red Hall is a small city. Um, it's very, as Julie said before we started, a very Twin Peaks-esque, inspired by the Pacific Northwest. So on the road between Vancouver and Seattle, you'd find many cities like this. Mountains on just nestled behind the trees that swallow the city, and easy access to the ocean. So the three scariest things in the world, mountains, forest, and the ocean. You don't like to be outside, do you? No, nah, I don't. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, you finished a night working. It's about four in the morning as you're making your way home to sleep when you find a nondescript envelope taped to your door. The only thing written on it is the words, the suicides. Oh, shit. I better get inside. I'm going to go into my house. Your apartment is quiet. The shadows swallow the walls, and you feel smaller than you normally do as you walk through the door. I'm going to flip on the lights. They work. Excellent. The shadows go away. <laughs> really close the the end. Or there's yeah. more shadows. <laughs> Hi, Matilda. It's okay, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to go over to whatever desk I have propped up and start uh, rapidly taking notes. Oh, 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 oh no, this, this couldn't possibly have come at a worse time. Oh, oh, oh no. So, for reference, the date is Thursday, October 5th, 2017. Four in the morning, so when the day will start. But that's how we're going now. For you, Jake, a few days ago, you've uh, just over a week ago, you received a body of a man, uh, middle-aged, who uh, was a suicide hmm. on the north side of the city. A case that you've seen a few times before. He jumped from the ninth-story window of his apartment building. Hmm. Uh, died on impact. <clears throat> Other than that, you can't really find anything too suspicious about it. Uh, at least upon initial glance, would you care to do the autopsy? I would. I would love to do the autopsy. Forensic. Yeah, forensic. Forensics. Have the roll lower. Lower. Yes. Should have put higher, I guess. Oh well, that's fine. Nope. Cool. Um, in your uh, first pass, you're not able to determine anything strange with the body, but some. 
Uh, you've heard that some Just, other people are coming to look in this as well. I'd like everyone to see the quality of the um, uh, props that we're being given. There, they are quality props. Yeah. yeah, this is quality. This feels like a newspaper clipping. So what you're saying is Justin has shitty paper in his house. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll write in my notes. Cool. Does not appear to be suicide. Or appear to be suicide. No... <laughs> no foul play. No foul play. No foul play. Um, foul like a little, by report. Like, recorder. Because Ooh. Ooh, that's a cool it's idea. modern. Yeah. Yeah, it's modern. Um, you guys, are you, are you guys sleeping at this hour? It's four in the morning. I assume you guys aren't up. No. Cool. Four in the morning? Yeah. No. You would alarm, definitely be sleeping. My alarm will be off as soon. Because you have, you have work on Friday. Yeah. In the morning. Yeah. Gotta visit those people who need help before work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I assume um, I sleep till like noon. So then we'll take it uh, with what you're gonna do. So this was also a few days ago. This isn't the. the that wasn't. That's Thursday. not the fifth. Yeah. <clears throat> Jeez, it's four in the morning. I'm gonna go back to my door, lean out, and uh, look down both halls. They're completely empty. Yo, Mikey! Yeah? Mikey, do you see anybody come down the hall? Nah! What are you doing still being awake? It's four in the morning. Best time to drink! Oh, you take care of yourself, Mikey. You too, Dickie. <laughs> Putting the little lock on the thing. Mikey's been drinking again. <laughs> I was um, expecting you to be like, you're yelling at me. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm awake. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna have to leave this till the morning. I can't just wake people up at four. Who does that? Just Mikey. Just Mikey. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide all of this envelope in a suitcase. Sure. Under my bed, <clears throat> where I keep my suitcase. Sure. Good. Sure. Sure. That's now, good. are we talking like nestled suitcases? Like it's a suitcase where you keep your other suitcase? It's like, yeah, it's like a big suitcase with a smaller suitcase in it. They're a matching set. I yeah. picked them up when there was a sale yeah, yeah. on the online store. I think I'm the smallest one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, there's six the smallest one. The smallest one, it's hard to open the zipper because I put something in there and I can't quite mm -hmm. get it to open anymore. Did that last, uh, the guy who came in, did yes. he have any family or he, anything? Uh, he did have some family. Okay. Yeah. And also, um, one thing that another person came through with an autopsy, uh, they noticed, you, might, you didn't notice because you were just doing the initial pass, not that you're a bad forensic scientist, but you... Uh, what, if, what if maybe mine was on scene? Or maybe yeah. even just, yeah, yours was on scene. Yeah, basically, yeah, you, you, yeah. as you're reading the case files for it later, uh, you find that the, the young man had both of his eardrums ruptured. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Why you gotta be like that, Justin? That's like my largest fear. <laughs> Mine is dentists. Jess, you wake up. When do you wake up for the morning? When? Yeah, when is your office open? Uh, I have to be there for eight. Eight? Cool. So when do you get up? Six. Nice. Six in the morning. Little did you know that uh, your good friend Richard went to bed about an hour and 45 minutes ago. Yep. Who yep. would have thought? Yep. Uh, but now the day is ahead of you. You're just going to do your morning routine and get to work? Mm -hmm. How many uh, clients do you got today? Ten. Ten clients? Yep. Nice. How long do you see them? Hour. Hour? Ten so hour work day. ten hours in a day? Today is a ten hour day. So you can't take time off today is what you're saying. Um, can take a lunch break. <laughs> so it turns into an eleven hour day. Yeah, it's Justin very quickly realizes he's playing. Maybe I have eight One clients. investigator. <laughs> Human Simulator game, <laughs> 2018. Human Simulator game. No one has time for anything. I think, I think my first character has an anxiety disorder. I'm going to need you to play out a socially anxious person while sure. I attempt to diagnose an author. Julia's calling that Erica's calling it. I need a different time. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Lina, is that your name? Our clients oh. often mix. The, the same it's clients. Been, it's true. Um, when did you plan to wake up, by the way? I was going to wake up at 7 a.m. So nice. Yep. I'm not getting a lot of sleep. Yeah. Because this happened. Cool. And I need to call some people. When did you? When are you planning on waking up? <laughs> Not early. Or like, but like like nine ish. I'm saying like ten. Ten. I'm cool. off. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Though I'm used to working early and late. <laughs> I'm I'm on my mini quasi three week vacation. Which yeah. Is my long stay. It actually would be like a longer. It'd be a few months for these yeah. ones. Yeah. 
I, I'm assuming that I'm sharing a flat with the person who's working the opposite. That's, yeah, that's a great the idea. opposite thing yeah. as me. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, you wake up and you're ready to make some calls, so you're gonna call. I'm gonna make a pot of coffee. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> such... <laughs> yeah. How many turns is this gonna take me, Justin? Uh, uh, no, no, no. This is just turn, nine turns. to five yeah. everyday life. It was already made. That's what we're role playing right <laughs> now. Oh, yeah, okay. it's shitty old coffee. Yeah, it's shitty From... old coffee. Yeah. The day before? Yeah, the day before. From 8 p.m. yesterday. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible. It's only 11 hours old. Yeah. It's a. It's That's bad. horrible. <laughs> um, but you're used to it. I'm gonna flip through a list of clients and people I know. I'm gonna briefly think about contacting Barnaby. Maybe Barnaby's the one to contact. No, Barnaby's probably busy. Um, Two names pop Barnaby. out to you, almost highlighting themselves off the page. One Aaliyah and one Jess. A park ranger and a psychiatrist. Oh, I cannot remember how I met that park ranger, unless it was through Aaliyah. She occasionally... Stops into oh sorry uh, Jess um, Jess occasionally brings some of her clients to the bar for like an after hours mixer sometimes <laughs> weird daily <laughs> no no it's actually a common psychologist practice to bring like a couple of patients who have recovered back together and kind of help mm. integrate them together as long as they're not dangerous to each other but anyways um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna call That's Jess good practice I can't quite remember Aaliyah I think I remember Aaliyah. But I'm going to call Jess. Um, Jess, your phone rings. That is not my ringtone. No, try again. Bring, bring! Your phone rings. You got like a classic phone? I was going to start singing a song. So. Hello. Morning, uh, is uh, this uh, Jess? Sure is. Oh, good, you're uh, not at the office yet. Mmm. No. Nope. <laughs> Did you just hang up? Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not still there. Uh, I'm not there yet. Early. I can see just running a bit change. late. <laughs> running a bit late. Uh, what's up though? What do you What do you need? Who is this? I'm. Uh, well, um, it. It. I don't know. Uh, it sounds like you haven't had a coffee yet. Uh, not did really. You wanna, did you want to meet up? Uh, I'm buying. Sure. Done. Do you remember that? Uh, <laughs> Blow off all my patients. Do you remember that thing I talked to you about a couple of weeks back when uh, you were in the bar? Uh, that, you know, community watch I'm a part of? Mm, yeah, I recall. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Were you uh, still thinking maybe you'd be interested if uh, something that you thought was, I don't know, interesting came along? You know, things are tight right now, but I think it'd be important for me to do something different than what I'm doing every day. So, yes. <laughs> wow, that's... A lot to unpack. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I haven't had coffee yet, so I'm not thinking straight. No, totally. I understand. Um, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm pouring my coffee into the sink. Um, I, I, why don't I meet you uh, down at the um, coffee cup? Uh, jumping bean coffee. The jumping bean <laughs> cup. Why don't I meet you at the old jumping bean? That's not too far from my office, so that works. Awesome. Uh, maybe half hour. Yep. All right. Great. See you then. <laughs> Before she says anything. <laughs> Is there anyone else you wanted to call before you go? Or you? Jess, is there anyone you wanted to contact before you go? I'm gonna call my good friend... What's her name? <laughs> Aaliyah. What's Aaliyah. Her name? I'm gonna call Aaliyah. Cool. Beep beep. <laughs> what up, babe? <laughs> <laughs> I need a huge favor this morning. What? I know you probably need to sleep in today. It's early. I know it's very early, but I'm going to meet someone who I've really only met like once. And um, you didn't have to turn a dating thing again. No, 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 it's no, weird. nothing to do with that. Uh, it's something. He... We'll talk all about it on the way, and I'll fill you in. But I just want to bring someone in case. All right, but we're taking my truck. Your truck. <laughs> We're taking my truck. Sure, what are we we'll gonna take, take we... your little soccer mom like coupe? It's a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> We're taking my truck. Okay, we'll take your truck. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Are, I'm sorry. Are you? Did we only meet a couple of times? And I'm some weird <laughs> stripper you met at a club who was like, "You should join my uh, my neighborhood <laughs> watch." My, yeah, and I, well, and, I watch. Which, and I was like, "Yeah, sure." And then now, in retrospect, I'm like, "Is this? What really if you dance idea? at like but a I'm bachelor party?" <laughs> I'm a very charming person. I believe that this conversation I, no, happened it and did you regretted it three yeah. days ago. Yeah, I 100%. did. That's what happened. Uh, we'll fast forward. Um, I assume you got there a bit earlier. Yeah. You have a table. Yeah. Uh, you see. Uh, you, you remember, you remember her faintly. Yeah. Uh, her 
long hair, always dressing to impressing, and she's accompanied by someone else. I'm gonna stand up, realizing that there's two of you and one of me and two coffees. I'm gonna hand you both a coffee. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna subtle, unsubtly be like, is that the weirdo? N yeah, n yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. look embarrassed, you brought me along. I did. I brought my friend. <laughs> one, I think she might be interested, and uh, two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Interested in what exactly? We we will find out and learn together. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jess. Uh, thanks. For... Hi, I'm Aaliyah. Yeah, it's funny. We we've met before, haven't we? Have you ever gone uh, drinking at um, Vixens? Only exclusively. <laughs> Regular then. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Great, I don't think I've seen you. It must have been at least a couple of months. I, I go usually before you folks start. <laughs> Makes sense. You folks. Um, <laughs> why don't you two get settled, and uh, I'm going to go grab myself another coffee, giving them time to figure out what the hell story they've decided to tell me. <laughs> um, a few days ago, Jake, you Ooh. got an email from Detective Shaw. Um, she mentioned, mentioned something to you about if there's anyone who can dig deeper into this that I trust, it's you. The body? Not the body. <laughs> just, she doesn't actually say much further. She then also lists a name of um, a man named Richard Hardwood and a phone number. Digging into something... Richard Hardwood. Dig into Richard Hardwood. Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to her. I'll be like, is there a body involved? Question mark. You get the notification that the email has been read, but there is not a response sent to you. I think she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will, I'll phone that number. Um, as you are standing in line for coffee, your phone rings. Shit. Hello? Hi, this is uh, Jake Smarty with the forensic team at, in, <laughs> what's it, Red, Red Hall? Red Hall, yeah. Red, uh, Red Hall Forensic uh, Society? Um, I was, I'm sorry, you're a society? Yeah, we're, we, we, it's a club. <laughs> Detective Shaw told me to phone you about something suspicious. How's Shaw doing? I, uh, I haven't seen her in a while. You don't know who Detective Shaw is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's all right. She, yeah, she's all right. Good, good. And she gave you my number. Yes. Huh, that's interesting. Um... I, I'm sorry, why are you calling again? Are you sure you have the right number? Uh, this is, uh... Uh... <laughs> Richard, uh Richard Hardwood. Hardwood, correct? She said specifically in her email to this number with your name. Okay. Well, what, what can I do for you? I, I'm sorry, your name was? Uh, Jake Smarty. Uh, what can I what can I do for you, Mr. Smarty? Um, well, she says there was something you you received something suspicious, or have something. The person over behind you looks over your shoulder and it's just like, what the fuck? Um, and you need there you need you need help with it, and she told me to phone you. Do you know where the jumping bean is? Little coffee shop. Oh yes. Up on the north side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very close to my our forensic office. <laughs> the, your society's forensic office. Yeah. Oh, well, we have well, multiple locations. I, I'm here with a couple of uh, friends. Um, <laughs> okay. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you come over? Uh, we're actually we're talking about that. Uh, we're talking about that right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, do you know what it is? Yeah, I. Yeah, is, there, is there a body? <laughs> You know what, I'm sorry, I'm in line and I, I gotta sure. go to pick up a coffee, I'm gonna have to let you... 
What is happening to my life? <laughs> oh my god. What would you like, sir? A black coffee. That'll be a buck twenty. Oh, that's good. We are clearly in the United States. Thank you. I'm gonna come and sit back down with the girls. So... Where's the coffee? Shop? So this is specifically about that but neighborhood watch, like, right? It's a, yes. Where's the friends? Okay, yes. so let me just... <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't explain further. Um... It took us I thought it might be to get here, and you didn't explain anything. On I the know. Way. I told you I need coffee. I, I, <laughs> I don't talk. I don't engage in any sort of antics before. All right. Coffee. Why? Why are we here? Um. Uh, well. Um, ding, 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 ding. How did you get here so fast? Just for the yeah. second. Downtown. <laughs> um, oh. Richard. Is there a Richard Hardwood here? <laughs> you see um, a well-built old man standing at the doorway, oh, calling out for Richard. I mean, he's 49. I'm sorry, I really don't know what I've got us into. I just um, thought it'd be a good idea. Richard! Yep, yeah, yep, that's me. That's oh. me. Come on over. Come on over, take a seat. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, Jake. Nice to meet you, Jake. Hi. Uh, come on, take a seat. I'm Jake. Hi, Jake. I'm Aaliyah. What is happening? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a forensic just, scientist. Are you oh, in that chair? Hi. Oh, hi. Thanks. Oh. Here, uh, do you want to shake chair? Are you two friends? Yes. Um, no. I was just given his number this morning. Oh. That's funny, because you just called me out of the blue today. This is very strange. <laughs> What's happening? This is getting weirder and weirder. You better, uh, so you better Where's the talking. body? Body? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just assuming that... James, right? Jake. Jake. Um, I don't know what Detective Shaw uh, told you. I mean, she didn't tell me um, a lot, but she usually phones me when there's a body. Or he sends me an email. Well, there's no... Should okay, go? yes, there is... Okay, hold on. Hold on, please. Okay. Just one moment. I will explain. Okay. I just thought this was some sort of lovely community project. <laughs> Okay. It's nice to meet you. My name's Richard. Yeah, we got that. Friends call me Dick. Um, Understandable. I run kind of inherited uh, community watch. Um, spread out over a couple of neighborhoods here in Red Hall. Mm, lovely. Um, up until a couple of months ago, we uh, looked into some weird things that happen here in town. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but mm. sometimes strange things happen here. Sometimes, you know, highest uh, disappearances. I don't know. I... We have a society of people who look into bodies on a forensic level, and you don't think that's a little bit weird for a town, for a small town. I mean, people die. A lot. We are a sleepy city. mountain town. Yeah, we've bear got... maulings are not uncommon. It's true. Yeah, we've There's got... been a lot of bear maulings. We've got like four times the national average of missing uh, youths, and that's that's only the tip of it. So I'm yeah, I'm I'm kind of running a community watch that's kind of short on members right now. Uh, we investigate strange things we read in the Gazette. We also um, occasionally people anonymously late at night. Drop off tips. So for reference, it's a piece from a notebook and a newspaper article clipping, uh, clipping uh, detailing um, a series of suicides at an apartment building on the north side. I mean, this should be evidence. Oh, because I put it in my suitcase. Do you know I who... was horribly mistaken. Who gave this to you? Uh, no, actually, I was uh, just getting off of work uh, at about four last night, and um, none of my neighbors saw who stuck it to my apartment door. So obviously it's someone who had keys to the apartment or knows the landlord. Um, Is it the building or the same room? Hmm? Is it the building or the same room? I'm not following. Are they happening 
just in the building, or are they happening in the, from the same room in the same building? Are you saying you're interested? I got a lot of time to kill. We. I'm just gonna give me give me these for a second. Okay. <laughs> Just sealing them in some bags. You can still read them, but they're evidence. They're, I, I have my friends at kit. I'll do. I'll do some some fingerprints in a second. Mm. Okay. Uh, mine are gonna be on theirs. Yeah, Star I know. Is. I know. There, that's in a bag. I don't. I don't know if I have a bag big enough. One second. Yeah, some of uh, my oh, clients are related to these people. There, that one's in a big bag. So, am I getting that you're interested too? Yeah, like, I thought this was, let you me, know those little signs now. you see in the neighborhoods where they say this is a neighborhood Hold on, let me get my other glasses. Yeah, And yeah. all the parents are involved. No, just me. Oh, there okay. we go. yeah, so I thought it was, like, a bit like that. Yeah, it is. It's literally that. Okay. But it's just It's just me. a bit Oh, this darker. guy. Yeah, his body came through my lab. It's fine, though. I, what? I need something. Okay, well, this is, uh... So, what did you just say? His body came through my lab. The police were suspicious at first. But we ruled out anything foul. I'm sorry, what, you've seen the body at your society? I mean, we, we do work for the police. Okay, so it's not just like some sort of club of <laughs> old men who... I mean, we have a club as well. But that's... that. We just drink, really. Okay. That's the other half. Okay. 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 We we work for the police. They do give us bodies. So yeah, I uh, I definitely um, called you all here and invited you here to take a look at this. I was hoping maybe I could get some help. Um, I'm I'm just one person right now, and uh, I mean this is. I don't know if this is a prank. I don't know if this is somebody. September twenty seventh, two thousand seventeen. Well, I'm that, all that, taking this very seriously. That was I the really date. Appreciate that. Well, the date's correct, but that's that's <laughs> okay. written in afterwards. I wonder if just because I did, it was like too much more of the newspaper. Are you and saying the didn't... photocopier couldn't copy more than a than a one inch by like? No, but three it's, inch it, this piece? is from a newspaper, and then someone wrote the date on it. So they they just there was maybe they didn't want to like give you the the whole part of the newspaper, which is weird. I don't know. Usually, that's fine. <laughs> Usually what? Usually when you get weird in your newspaper? I mean, I, I, I never got a weird newspaper. newspaper. Okay, good. So it's just me then. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Now, are we going to go do something about this? Because if not, I'm going to go start my day drinking. I'm sorry. What did you say your job was again? You know the National Park just outside the city? Yeah. Ranger. Shouldn't you be in the National Park then? Right off. Well, I, I, it's I only shift work right now. Blocks of time, but it's like twenty-four hours on call. Oh, in the woods. oh, so it's like the it's I like mean, the miners then. Like you have I you feel, work on site and then you stay off site for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Feel, it's a it's a lower income building. So statistically, they would have more suicides. Mm. People without a lot of money maybe lost the job. Just if you had a chance to look at these yet. I did. Quite good. So I don't see suspicious about it. Although some of my colleagues did think this body was a little weird. I never did. What's the name of your colleagues? The ones that uh, thought it was a little bit weird. <laughs> Let me bring it up on my phone here. So for reference, I'll read out what all this says for yes, people listening good. at home. Yes. Uh, another suicide on the north side. A 32-year-old man killed himself by jumping through the window of his ninth-story apartment last night. This is the third suicide related to death to happen at Gardenview Heights this year. The apartment building on the north side has built an infamous, infamous reputation for its multiple suicides that occur there. The man, whose family preferred for him to stay an unnamed, work at a &C Grocer near his home. The landlord of Gardenview Heights declined, and then it cuts off. Also written on it in marker is September 27, 2017. Garden View Heights, north side apartment building, suicides almost for a year. City is just shrugging it all off. Building has 15 floors, not including basement. Landlord lives on the main floor, has no office there, not sure of name, never visited. Tried calling, but nobody answered the phone. Something has to be happening. There's no way all these deaths are just a coincidence. I'll have to dig deeper and find out what's happening. Rent a room, ask around and see if I know anybody who lives or lived there. Does anyone else find it weird that 
Like, this is somebody who's already been doing this investigation who dropped this off to us. Yes, it is very weird. But I don't know the social circles you hang out with. Maybe it's not weird. It's pretty weird. Even for us. Okay. Could it be someone from the past community thing? Yeah. Watch. Think it was anyone from past watch that ran away? I don't know. I don't recognize the handwriting, but I mean, could be. Uh, the watch has been around for. Uh, I mean, I know my dad was a part of it for a little while. Uh, yeah, could be. Could be that someone was looking into this. This one isn't dated, so I mean, this could even be from a uh, one of the. Uh, Previous suicides. I mean, it mentions that there's four happening a year. That is an awful lot. I mean, I don't know much about the statistics in the city, but... Uh, as you guys are still having your meeting... I don't know how old we're... But yeah, so you're all actually interested in looking into this. Like, this doesn't... I mean, I'll help you where I can. I don't think there's anything suspicious here, but I'll get you whatever information you need. Wow. Uh, this... I'm not going to lie, this started off a little bit rocky. Uh, you guys were acting kind of weird. I just had expectations and then realized it was a lot more I mean, if complicated than I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought I was just going to put a sign outside my door that says, like, if you need help, you can come to me. <laughs> now I realize it's like a investigation type thing. But I'm interested. I need to do more. She's, for the people. She's bored. You could say that. She's bored. She um, Detective that. Shaw wanted me to work with you, so. Like a police officer. A police officer asked me to contact you. Think that's who dropped that off on your door? I mean, apparently they knew about the package, so yeah, sure. I don't know, if, if the city's just ignoring it, maybe maybe the cops want us to take a look at this. I mean, the watch used to do a bit of work with the local authorities, so maybe? I got nothing better to do. I spend my, my months on talking well, to the looking. deer that lives outside my shack, and I spend my, my weeks <laughs> off drinking before your strippers go on, so you know what? Yeah, why before? Just, you know, you know what? I'm sorry, that's a distraction. Um, <laughs> I, I, you were asking me about the people that thought that this, uh, his death was suspicious. Yeah. Do I have names? Or? Yeah, you have three names of some people. Does it matter? They'd, no, be, at your, they'd be at your club. Um, I mean, they, they, they're at some of the other locations around the city. <laughs> Society is... You know what? I don't even want to touch on whatever. I, well, I mean, we have multiple meeting points. Most of them are bars. That we meet at. Okay, that actually <laughs> that actually makes the most sense of everything you've said to me um, since I've met there you. Are, there are including on the phone. There are two forensic actual labs in the city though. Mm. One's on the south end, one's on the north end. Like downtown here. It's like it's like right over there. That's why I was so quick. It's like right over there. And and the other one's like way up in way up by the college, way up there. Well my more uh, for teaching. We teach new forensic scientists. Oh, there. that's just lovely. Did you want the names of those people and what they thought? Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, I know I don't have anything to do until about 8.15 tonight, so, um... <laughs> would anybody be interested in looking into this now? I have a bit of time. Okay. I couldn't cancel all my clients this morning. I canceled a couple on the way here. They'll be okay. Jess, I feel like I need to get to know you a lot better. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is why there's more suicides. <laughs> because <laughs> because they're psychiatrists? They're just blowing people off. <laughs> of note, Jess, no one has ever come to you about... Like, you have never met anyone who has talked about suicidal thoughts that said, said they've lived at Garden View. has been any of their addresses. Oh, yeah, I didn't think I would... Yeah. I assumed you would have told me if that was a thing. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. Would. Oh, you wouldn't have? No. I mean, feel that's, so uh, it's not, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like also that patient confidentiality, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we doing? Yeah. I don't, I don't care. Where, where, do we, where do we want to start? <laughs> I don't know, but we're taking my truck. Okay. You know what? I can work with that. I can work with this. I can work with this. I don't know about all this, but I can work with this. 
Um, I mean, I'll take my Prius. Just because it's better for the environment. Wow. Driving two vehicles? This, this, don't worry about so, it. So, uh, Garden View <laughs> Heights, uh, what, what do we all say? We all find our own various ways to go there or maybe check out the apartment building. Uh, what does everybody say? How, how about that? I mean, sure. It's a good place to start, probably. Would you have enough time? I'd have enough time for a quick meet and greet type deal. She's coming, it's fine, I'm dragging her. Okay. You guys all head up to the north side of the city. Um, I'm putting in my friends. All your guys' Google Maps point you to Garden View, and you guys all notice that it is right next to something called the Red Garden, which is a very large conservatory attraction site on the north side of the city. Hence the name Garden View Heights. It's literally looking over the greenhouse and conserv uh, outdoor conservatory that is the Red Garden. Can, can I do a natural world? For what? Check on the garden. Does this garden have any psychoactive plants that they keep locked up? Um, any scary poisonous plants? Anything that can make you, somebody Have you go? been there before? I imagine so. I'm a park ranger. Um, <laughs> then yeah, you can do a natural world to anything that you could try to find out. Nope. Nah, yeah, you can't. <laughs> From your trips, it's a lot of just a... Uh, it's a lot more like it's become more commercialized now. It's less about the plants and more about the And then you the know tourist. pretty your garden yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, the building stands tall, Succulent. 15 stories, uh, and it actually is one of the few things in the skyline on this side of the city, this far up to the garden. Have you ever been to the garden? <laughs> yeah, of course I have. <laughs> Ow. Uh, do you want me to let, you know what, let me let you out. Why don't you, mm -hmm. I mean, the shots would be better outside. No, they're, for, they're evidence. Of the inside of... Okay, this is great. This is great. I mean, we're at we're at this, right? We're at this this hotel. Yeah. I'm just taking pictures of it. Okay. No, it's great. Uh. So where the did stripper it... is this bra is the brains of this outfit? Yeah. <laughs> <And he's not laughs> Hilariously <laughs> enough. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you guys are making Eric work. I'm, I'm average. <laughs> I'm average intelligence. Uh, I'm actually low intelligence. Around oh, average. hey guys, it's me! Yep. <laughs> You're the smartest? Yep, nice. if you bet I am. I'm a ranger. Well, should we talk to someone here? I was thinking maybe the landlord. We uh, should find this landlord, yeah. Yeah, both things mention him and uh, them. Apparently he lives them, here. Them. Good them. point, good point. And uh, apparently they live here. Yeah. And, but no uh, office. No one's but, talked to them. I mean, actually. their office could be in there. Is there a buzzer? There's a buzzer. Can I can I find the buzzer? Yep. I'm yeah, just, and you I'm see just on the, the the fuck it. I'm just calling him. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it says Kevin McLeod, landlord. I mean, yeah, take it. Uh, like After a few moments, uh, there's a little <laughs> as if you could pull the door open and come inside. Yeah, I'm walking inside. He didn't cool. answer the door. I'm just storming in. He's left. What he's, number was on the? He on just the thing? he's uh, like name four first. Like this. Then that's what that's what I'm doing, and I'm like banging on the door. He just uh, lets people open. in. Um, His door's open. I'm walking in. <laughs> Uh, he has a little desk set up. He's turned one one of the rooms into a small little office space. They don't give you an office? This is my office. I work here. What do you want? Are you just alone in there? You just barged yeah, right in. Yeah, she walked in. <laughs> are we, we going to go? I mean, it... I, yeah, we could go. We should follow, Excuse maybe. Excuse me. Yeah, your Rumor. friend does not seem the most even keeled than you are. I'm knocking on the door <laughs> to be polite. <laughs> knock, 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 knock. Now open the door for him. Go in. It was already open. I'm just knocking. It's actually on. locked. Oh, she, Did you she pushed a buzzer to get in. Okay. Well, I thought we followed her. No, no, no one said they followed I'm her. I'm gonna buzz now. Yeah, I'm trying to get them to follow. You see, you I'm... see Kevin roll his eyes and press a button that's on his desk. We roll the eyes. Let's go. Yeah. What? No, you go. I thought I already went. I barge and go in. I go forward. I go. Do we know what number the room is and everything? It's, yeah. Yeah, it's the main. The main floor. first first okay. room, first floor. Is the door open or should I knock? It's open. You see? It's open now? Uh -uh. I'm standing basically in the door. She's standing in the doorway. Just thought I'd follow you. Maybe you'd need someone. Hi, Jess. You guys brought a whole party. Great. Pissed. <laughs> I'm just going to sort of like push them around Somebody the Somebody thought a bit of, the, of tude. Of the hallway and be like, okay. Can you please stop taking pictures 
Inside my apartment building, sir. It's just for evidence. Evidence for what? The cops already came. I don't see your badges. What are you guys here for? And here's my forensic one. Yeah, forensic scientists. They've already been here and through here. Thank you. Yeah, I was here the other night. You were here the other night? Yeah. Yeah, on then, September on September twenty seventh when he dropped when he jumped off thing. This guy. Then why wait, 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 wait. why did we start here if you've been here already? I don't know, you guys wanted to go here. Can I please interrupt? Yeah. And yes, please. Ask why you were here. Uh, somebody gave him random shit, and we want to know Oh, yeah, why. yeah, about, um, about all that, I'm going to say oozing my way in between Jess and <laughs> Aelia. <laughs> right, someone's like, oh, yep. seduce <laughs> And sitting down at the table, uh, gonna, I'm going to try and get a read, like, what kind of charm do I need to drop here? Sure. Is this the charm of, like... You know, oh yeah, we're both coolers. It's the charm of like maybe the maybe a button, maybe a button slips. I don't know. Either charm. I'm good for either. Maybe a leg touch. Twenty four. What am I giving on getting on Kevin? Uh, he's a hard sell. Mm. If you actually like, this is just like reading his body language, yeah. right? You're not trying to seduce him right now or charm him. Well, I'm I'm starting the process. So yeah, I'm... it'll be. What's your extreme charm rating? Oh, that would be... That's a quarter, right? Yeah. No, a tenth. Tenth. A, a fifth. Sorry, a fifth. Fifth. So, oh, wow. Yeah, that'd be low. So, yeah, it's he's very hard to woo or, like, charm. Okay. But he is just trying to... You can get the read that he is just here trying to do business. And if you're going to be straight with him, he'll be straight with you. Uh... Mr. McLeod, I'm going to say, suddenly getting way more formal as I, like, sit up in my chair. I'm, I'm just going to level with you, if you don't mind. Uh, we are a neighborhood watch group. Uh, friend of the family um, wants us to look into uh, what happened to this person. They're uh, worried that it wasn't just a suicide. I know what the cops have said. I know you know what the cops have said, but... I also know what the cops have said. I know nothing. I'm gonna try and give him, like, a look while he's not, like, seeing my face of, like, and this is what the cops are like. So, like, you and me, we get this. I'll, I'll, be, com help. I'll be completely honest. I sympathize with the victims. And I understand that this place has this reputation and I understand that thrill seekers like yourselves come here to find things out but I'll tell you what I've told all the people who've come here all of the assholes who've rented room by the month just to try it out there's nothing happening here you know just death begets death people just fucking die here and it's also a low poverty area. It's not a low poverty area. It's right next to the. F the cops here are fucking idiots, aren't they? He's not a cop. Forensic scientist. Oh my god, did I hit some back? I'm gonna try to work this guy. Well, I mean, I was talking to him and then he pushed me out of the way, so maybe. Because you, because, because you started giving away our evidence. Giving it away? That's I in my case, thank it. you, God. It's already in evidence bags. It's fine. He's not going to take it. People rent out these rooms for like a month at a time. With yeah. so many debts here, I have to charge, I don't know, 400 bucks a month for a two-bedroom. What? Yeah. When well, we're done here, I'm in. Do you have a card? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a really good deal. I, I really <laughs> Can I also take a card? No, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. You but I mean, like, I know. people come in and out of here. People leave. They complain. They're scared. They're worried they're going to die, too. Weird. And do they, like, do they say anything about that? Like, are they afraid of anything happening? Because, I mean, sure. The only thing I've ever heard people complain about is they hear a bell, a ringing sound. I've checked the pipes. I've replaced the pipes four times. Mm. None of it fixes it. Is everybody here a bell? No, I've never heard it. I some have some patrons here who've never heard it either. Mm. They're just fucking crazy. Probably high as shit. 
Well, I mean, it's boring. Why would town. that be? Because this town is boring. Mm, true. If you guys want a room, I'll give you a room. Yes, please. You just sign a year's lease? Nope. I. Sorry. I live in a shack in the woods half the year. It'd be empty. I don't want to pay for that. All right, I'll give you a room then. I'll sign for a year. We'll sign for a year? Sure. Do I have to occupy it? Or could I just have a room and then if I want to like come to it or visit it? You really need to get out. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. If you want to pay me money to not live somewhere, that's cool with me. Yeah. I'm staying. And I'd, I'd love to support this establishment. I think it has a great view. <laughs> the um, view is nice. The view is nice. And, you know, I really sympathize with businesses like this because it's hard. It is hard. It is hard. I both love Let you me and hate you. Thank weird. you. Uh, normally I'd ask for some sort of reference. Take out my checkbook. But, um, would any, any first and last. Okay, sure. <laughs> your lease is unheard of here. Would anybody try to try and ruin your business? Is maybe that's, maybe it's just, if people, if, if somebody was Finding a bunch of suicidal people to come and jump out windows, no, go for it. <laughs> I mean, if that's what they're doing, then fucking God help them. I mean, pushing pushing the 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 stereotype of the of the place. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying, buddy. Making rumors up about bells and stuff, and then that yeah. may, that maybe psycho psychologically makes people. That are here, paranoid, and hear things. Potentially yes. kill themselves. Do you have the contact mm -hmm. information for any of the people who said they heard these bells? Just start knocking on doors. Okay. They'll find one on the floor, probably. <laughs> right, it's gonna like start storming down the hallway. <laughs> she is uh, Just start determined. knocking on doors. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I'm gonna go just chase after her just to make sure she does. The, um, Room key. Thank you. Yes. And Eighth floor. If I have any problems or need anything, I guess you would be my landlord? Yeah. I would be. And what's your name again, sir? Call me Mr. McLeod. Ah. Thanks, Kevin McLeod. And I'm going to go chase crazy. after her because she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at least I'm not literally gone, just like, sitting here like this. this like, um, so I don't <laughs> understand what happened. Are you guys leaving his office? Yeah. yeah. Uh, why don't you guys make a spot hidden check? Hard. Spot hidden. So, so it's half percent. Half. Half. Yeah. Mm. No, not you two. You guys have already left. No, okay. Sweet. Oh, I would have mailed that charm. Me then. What was it? It would have been thirty. Mm. No, no, that was it. Not us two, right? Oh yeah, that was extreme. Half. Yes. So thirty-five. No, we walked away. Thirty-seven is half of thirty-five. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Thanks, guys. Nothing. Okay, we're going to stop this recording here. D O. And we're going to dive back in. How long is the next recording? What's a tenth of 75? It's a fifth. Um, probably... Tenth.